This is a 2020 Toyota Hilux Legend 50 2.8 GD6 4x4 in cosmic blue. And I have to admit, it's a major step up from previous generations. Uh, it's stylish, but not in your face. Uh, the color works. You can get it in orange. The blue is better. But if you're not into flashy colors, you can get it in white and silver. I think there's a black as well. Uh, personally, I would get a silver. The wheels are already black. I'll just make them even blacker. Uh, and go fully murdered out spec. I think that would look very good. The car has some very good lines. It's flared wheel arches. It, it's just a good looking car. Uh, I know I'm supposed to be subjective. I am. Subjectively, I think this is a very good looking car. So under the hood we've got the 2.8 GD6 diesel engine, very smooth, very quiet. I took a, a passenger for a ride who's been driving petrol Toyotas for donkey years now and even he said how quiet and how smooth this engine was. Um, specs 130 kilowatts at 3400 RPM. And peak torque is 420 newton meters at 1,400 RPM, which is quite low, and you definitely feel it. Uh, it's a very torquey engine, good power, pulls well, and definitely good enough for, or more than ample, for off-road. In terms of interior design and specifications, it is again a major step up from previous generation everything has its place and a reason there's no excess the interior is very modern in terms of design i mean you've got the the chrome strip on top of the piano black you've got a big eight inch infotainment display touchscreen with buttons uh, i've been in vehicles where it's only touch and it is infuriating especially while you're driving but now you have to go through all the menus just to change the most simple settings uh, as for quality it's a Toyota I mean it's it is durable uh, scratchy plastics but that's not going to break or fade or or anything it's it's what you expect from a Toyota it's everything you need nothing more nothing less and best part manual gearbox six speed it has intelligent manual transmission which is basically just a feature that was more on sports cars that is now making its way into four by fours as you shift down it will read the road speed read your revs what gear you're going into and blip the throttle up so it's basically like double d clutching or double clutching but the car does it for you that is a very handy feature while you're off-roading because it's one less thing to worry about where we are today it's not the most technical terrain but i don't want to have to worry about rev matching if the car can do it for me um, you already have to worry about picking lines and making sure that you protect your pricey investment speaking of price this one starts at 684,000 rand which is a lot of money but you're buying you're buying a reputation you're buying a Toyota especially a Hilux yes the motors are new but Toyota wouldn't put something in their cars that they don't think or know will last I'd be more than happy to buy one of these second hand even with 100 150,000 kilometers on and I know that yes there will be maintenance but this car is going to last in terms of off-road features you have electronic low range so it's high two high four push for low four there are these you can put the traction control off by only pressing the button you don't have to hold it in down your descent control a rear diff locker the front differential closes and opens itself you can't interfere with that Toyota engineers know what they're doing 
alongside the intelligent manual transmission there is eco mode which quite heavily subdues your throttle pedal actuation it it, it it becomes a very dull car to drive in terms of its responsiveness but the return is that you get quite decent fuel economy there's also power mode which does the exact opposite it makes the throttle pedal as reactive as a trampoline it, the moment you touch it something will happen but I mean most of us we're not racers we you just have fun and this car provides all the technology for you to be able to have fun safely, reliably, and in a decent amount of comfort. Uh, up front, normal double wishbone suspension. I mean, it's it's a proven recipe. The back leaf springs. The way the car is set up at the moment, it is quite firm at the back, but everyone knows a buck is meant to carry a load. So if you put a canopy on and maybe a draw system and stuff like that, just weigh the back down. I think this car will handle beautifully. On-road holding is excellent. It has Dunlop Grand Trek ATs on. Not the greatest tire off-road, but on-road it gripped decently well. I wasn't dicing anyone or trying to set your climb records on, on the tire roads. But it works it, it the car handles very well and i'd be happy to take on a bumpy tar road In terms of approach and departure angles, it's got 31 degrees up front, 26 in the back, which according to my research is class leading. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to set up a few cameras and let's actually take this thing for a little drive and take on some obstacles and see what we are working with. It's like I said on Dunlop Grand Trek 80s in deflated to 1.5 bar nothing crazy it's a nice little medium between hard enough and soft enough the surface is quite hard there are quite a few loose sections um, but let's see how easy it is to drive this car off-road because I think a lot of people or prospective buyers don't have a lot of off-roading experience the slope and it, oh, let's see what happens just so much fun so yeah manual gearbox absolute treat it's heavy enough so that you know that you're changing gears but also direct uh, I haven't had a misshift once. Um, it's just a, a good gearbox.
low range, little ascent. Like I said, I'm not going to do anything stupid. Um, the, the thing that's letting this car down specifically is the tyres. Um, it's a good on the tar, uh, good normal sand driving is perfectly fine, but yeah, it, it 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 tapers off. I mean, as as soon as the wheel starts spinning, where a normal tar would start clawing in, this just absolutely gives up. There you have it, uh, Toyota Hilux Legend 50 2.8 GD6 4x4. What a car! I mean, it's it handled everything I threw at it. The only mistakes it made was because of me, uh, not enough speed and not the right gearing. For playing in sand, this is a hell of a car. It's compliant when you want it to be, but you can also have a bit of fun. The suspension starts settling in a bit. It makes it just a very, very good all-rounder. Uh, I know the looks are subjective, you might not like it, some other person might like, like it, I like it, but then uh, are, there's a reason why the Hilux has been built for 50 years and over a million copies have been built. I mean, a million. I mean. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions or queries or if you have anything to say about the car please comment them below we will to the best of our abilities answer every single one with a intelligent answer apart from your questions please remember to also like subscribe uh, follow all our social media they're all linked below and we, we're moving strongly into the digital side you are going to be seeing more of this type of content uh, we have, we're getting a Fortuner up next, so it's going to be interesting to see how the two compare, uh, seeing that the Fortuner is based on a Hilux. So yes, let us know what you thought about the video, what you think we could do better, what worked, what didn't work, um, and what vehicles you would like to see next. There are, we're, we're spoiled for choice when it comes to, to 4x4s, uh, in terms of buckets and SUVs. So let us know what you want to see and what you want to see the vehicles do uh, do you want to see more sand do you want to see mud do you want to see just normal jeep track and yes we will work towards making that content available to you and in return like i said just give us a follow subscribe it helps us out a lot and stay tuned for the next one cheers